I know the pain that it takes to run with Dayton. I know how hard that is, and I know the extreme joy that you feel when you cross that finish line. He's in front of you, and he brought you there, and you wouldn't be doing it with it. I wouldn't run, I wouldn't be running marathons without. Yeah, so Dayton has cerebral palsy and a seizure disorder and a vision impairment. So Dayton understands everything, um, so he wants to participate in things and he wants to be active. He loves people and his mind is completely able to, to understand the world, but his body doesn't work the way he wants it to. He's very limited physically, but he's not limited mentally. loved that he could follow the trees and he started to watch shadows and objects and um, that's how I knew that he loved it and he would smile and he would laugh and so just kept running. I just happened to be right there and they asked if anyone wanted to push Dayton so I stepped in and ended up pushing him for 18 or 19 miles. First time I pushed Dayton I felt a, a special bond with him. Um, Sometimes running gets long and monotonous when you're putting in lots of miles, but any time I ran with Dayton, the miles just seemed to fall away faster. I tried to qualify for Boston myself, and we missed it by five minutes. It's sad, and, and, but it was so invigorating to race with Dayton. And uh, I pushed him up the hills, and he carried me down the hills. But near the end of the race, I shattered my pelvis, actually. They only allow six duo teams to qualify based upon the time. So you have to be the fastest in your age group pushing somebody. It's very, very difficult to qualify. I heard Ryan wants to come by. He has something to show Dayton. I knew what it was. so. I just, he came in and, and he showed Dayton, he knelt down and he talked, he talks to Dayton, you know, he's so good to him and uh, it was awesome, it was awesome, there's a picture of them that night and it was neat. I get to see them come in and it's just, um, <laughs> I love Ryan for doing this, I love Dayton for wanting to do this. I love that he has a body that is still physically strong enough that he can do this, I'm thankful for God for keeping him healthy, that he has a purpose to be there. I'm so grateful for just the people that have helped us all get there and the kind words that they've said on his page and just to me, just in our neighborhood and in our church. And they're just, they're so supportive. I haven't heard one negative, one negative comment, not one. So it's just, it's, it's just, there aren't really words. This is something I know that we'll always, always treasure. I love you too, Dayton. <laughs>